what I'd like to see is somebody designing something high-end, uh, something really cool, incorporating the best of the technology that was developed over 100 years. Many journalists refused to get in bed with the army and went to Iraq as independent reporters. They bring us the stories from the ground in Iraq and show us the brutal reality of war. In doing so, they risk their lives. He taught us the human dimension of the apostolate, of the mission. I can't get the faith across to a boy if that boy is hungry. We were the new Rome, and we recognized it and devised a power management scheme in the 1947 National Security Act to, we thought, manage it, and it worked fairly well during the Cold War. But we haven't done anything since, and I think that's another sign of our uh, inability to grasp the new world, if you will. invented whiskey, but the Scots invented the marketing of the drink. I named my beer Sam Adams if I didn't think there was hope, because, you know, Sam Adams started to spark and opposed the greatest empire in the world at that time. And had he failed, he'd have been taken to London and hanged as a traitor. So I wouldn't have named my beer Sam Adams if I didn't think that that small hope that, you know, the weak, the powerless, the little guys could maybe create a revolution and topple the big guys. I've been through boom times, and then I've been through some tough times. And one of the things that we all have to remember is we're all small. We're all in this same tiny boat on this huge ocean. And in that huge ocean are battleships. This is the lie they told you. CDs sound better. They've never sounded better. The people who told you that 20 years ago were lying, and they knew they were lying. Nothing sounds better than vinyl. <laughs> so it's in my house. I just am too scared to try it. I'm nervous. My dad will be proud. Are there other worlds like ours? Or are we bound to a lonely oasis, Earth, amid a barren universe? I'm not like you people, normal, <laughs> and I'm mean that.